Hello Physics 40B, my name is Armando Avalar and I'm going to be doing my explainer video today. Uh, I was assigned problem 13.5 and I think I did number 15. Um, uh, here we go, I'm sorry if this problem is really easy. Um, I chose it because I thought it would be a little harder, but as soon as I started doing it I realized it was really easy. But anyway, here we go. Hope you enjoy my slides. Uh, <laughs> so basically problem number 15 asks, um, is asking if an astronaut on Earth can throw a ball straight up at a height of 15 meters, right? So he has a ball, he's on Earth, he's throwing the ball 15 meters, right? That's pretty weak, you know? But anyway, the question is asking how, how high he would be able to throw it if he was on Mars, you know? So step one in solving this problem, uh, we know this guy's not getting any stronger, basically. Um, so we're able to assume that he he's gonna exert the same amount of force on Mars than he will on Earth. So Basically, what I'm trying to say is that energy is conserved in this situation. Um, so this is a good thing because we can now use the the height of the ball as like gravitational potential energy. You can look, look up the equation on Google. Uh, that's what I did, and this is the equation. Um, so gravitational potential energy is equal to the mass of the object being thrown up times the gravity of the planet that it's on times the height. Um, okay, so then... You basically do it for both situations. So you do it on Earth. So this is the gravity potential on Earth. And then this is the gravity potential on Mars. And since the guy's throwing it up with the same amount of energy, they should be equal. So that's why these guys are equal to each other. Um, nice. So <laughs> that caught me off guard. All right. So, <laughs> so basically what we're doing, we're looking for H on Mars. right? So we're looking for the height on Mars. So we have to isolate it to get it by itself. Um, when we do that, the equation is going to end up looking like this right here. Um, this is under the division bar. Um, so then these masses are going to cancel out, and we're left with this pretty little equation right here. Looks pretty easy. Nice. So then step two, with this new equation that we just got, um, we can we can basically already go ahead and solve for this because these are all technically knowns. We know the gravity of Earth is 9.81. We know the height of the ball is 15 meters on Earth. And then we know the gravity on Mars because you could just look it up on Google, but we can't really do that, right? Because because we're in physics, and then they want us to learn this kind of stuff, right? So basically, what they want us to do in this equate uh, in this um, situation, I think um, they want us to use this equation, thirteen point seven, on the textbook. It's on page two hundred and thirty-two. The equation basically looks like this. It's saying that gravity on any given planet, not just Earth is uh, equal to the gravitational constant, like Newton's gravitational constant, times the mass of the planet divided by the radius of the planet squared. Um, that's, that's all well and good. So then basically we plug this in for the G values of our previous equation, and then we get this equation down here. I know, right? All right, so this is the final stretch. Remember that G? that gravitational potential or gravitational constant that I was talking about earlier. Remember this guy, this capital G, don't confuse it with gravity, right? This is a gravi this is a constant. So this is just like a fixed number. Uh, but anyway, so if you remember it, don't worry about it because it gets canceled out. So this is what the equation looks like after it's been canceled out. I don't want to play God guys. Come on. Uh, <laughs> This is what the equation looks like once the g get canceled. And then basically what you can do now is plug in all your known values. So this is the mass of the Earth. This is the mass of Mars. This is the radius of Earth. This is the radius of Mars. And then this is the height of the ball on Earth. You should plug it in to your calculator and you should be able to get something around the lines of 39, 40. I got 39.6 using Google's value. Um, and then that's basically it. Um, we did it. Good shit, guys. <laughs> I hope you learned something.